Hey guys and welcome to another video. Now today what we're going to be doing is looking at all the screenshots and information that we've got on the brand new game that's coming out that I'm so excited about and guess what game it is? Just Cause 3. So in this video, while I'm speaking, in the background, there's going to be many screenshots of Just Cause 3 that we've been given by IGN, and also uh, clips from the last game, so Just Cause 2, and also some from Just Cause 1. So what I'm going to do first is sort of give my opinion on what I think of this game and other information that we've got. So the first thing that makes me really, really, really excited about this game is that you can destroy everything, and it's sort of like everything stays there. So if you've seen Red Faction Guerrilla, you'll know that uh, if you smash something you can see all the little bits of what you've just smashed so they've also said that you can smash entire houses now obviously you're not going to be able to smash every single building in the game but you are going to be able to smash some and I just love this in a game it just makes it so fun it, and it also looks amazing now also the developers have said this isn't going to be an online game now obviously on PC there will be mods where you can mod it to make it uh, online but it is purely solo which is my one downfall for this game but I don't really care it's still going to be an awesome game now this is going to be the main part of this video and I'm going to be reading an IGN article that is all about uh, Just Cause 3 so let's get reading. So the first thing that the article said was Just Cause 3 is the sort of game Twitch streaming PlayStation shit doesn't go quite right. Main character Rico Rodriguez returns with a handful of new skills that dramatically changes the way you navigate and destroy the world of Just Cause 3. Players can accelerate his trademark grappling hook with the press of a button, pulling themselves towards the ground, building or cliff sides faster. This works to tandem with the new wingsuit. Pull Rico towards something, press a button and set yourself sailing through the sky alongside his new gadgets. The freedom fighter basically boils down to a super violent. The Mediterranean is the setting for this game, if you didn't already know that. So we're going to go to the next part of the article now. The wingsuit also solves a major problem for just wingsuit to travel further. It would negate the need to use cars, but vehicles are substantially improved over the last just cause. ex burn developers working trucks, the sporty cars, loose handling, but both are fantastic for driving off cliffs, leaping out of windows, and giving Rico wingsuit and parachute hang time. In Just Cause 2, Rico could tether two objects together, allowing him to manipu manipulate objects with physics. Matching a cable to a moving car and tethering it to a road could flip vehicles. Tethering a tank to a plane give you, could give you a hilarious wrecking ball. Just Cause 3 modifies this by letting you use more tethers as well as controlling their tension. With the press of a button, you will retract the cable, pulling these objects together, using weight to your advantage. I saw Rico pull a helicopter into buildings, send explosive bar barrels into a destructible wall, and yank statues and structures into the ground. Tension control began to be a novel gimmick, but over the course of an hour, I found myself tethering fences to the ground pulling them down and disabling enemy soldiers by pulling them into the air over a ledge. Guns remain the least interesting tool in Rico's arsenal. It seems deliberate he's capable of much more exciting things than bullets to in faces. Using a rocket launcher while parachuting and blasting a seaside satellite in the ocean is wonderful, but that's because of the destruction more, more than the weapon itself. Buildings crumble in spectacular fashion in dozens of pieces that break depending on what sort of explosive you put where. All of this in mind, I'm curious to see how Rico's modular upgrade system will let me modify the sort of silly things I can do. If I upgrade my C4 to include propulsion, like a propane or O2 tank that soars into the air when shot, I wonder what sort of effects it will have when tethered into a moving vehicle. If I activate the propulsion before detonating, I can set a jet rearing out of control. Your imagination is the first piece of the puzzle, game director Roland Lestrin said. From there, Rico's progress and um, unlock certain things. We have a chop shop, a rebel garage, so any vehicle you unlock goes into the gar garage and becomes available in any of your rebel drops. 
We've taken away all the idea of money. Liberating an area or city earns you new things too. There are certain things you can't just collect. You have to go to the base with tanks. Claim it. Now you have tanks, Lester and said. Then, <clears throat> then the next time you summon rebel reinforcements to help out, maybe they'll have a tank. With freedom fighters coming to Rico's aid, I asked Lesterin if a cooperative partner is out of the question. If we were going to progress with something in that field, he explained, then we'd have to start with something like that in mind. Across the board, Avalanche developers in Stockholm and New York adore the community-created mods that added multiplayer to Just Cause 2. Lesterin didn't say Avalanche didn't start with multiplayer in mind, but I get the impression from he and Sundberg that the studio is making Just Cause 3 as it always has, with a chaotic campaign featuring a wealth of absurd opportunities primed for sharing online and letting the mod community run wild when it launches later in the year. But anyway guys, that was the article. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you guys took some information away from that and, I'd lo and I hope you enjoyed the little clips that have been in the background of the video. Now, I hope you guys are looking forward to this as much as I am. I am so excited for this game. I never played Just Cause 2, however, by the looks of it, it looks so good. It looks like a cross between GTA and about a billion other games. Anyway guys, for all your Just Cause 3 information, like, subscribe and see ya. I'm the one infected